Map and filter are two efficient methods to work with iterables. However, your code can look very messy if you use both map and filter at the same time. For example here, I try to get all even numbers in an array and multiply each of them by 2. To do that, I use filter to get all even numbers and map to multiply every even numbers by 2. At the end, I have nexus parentheses that looks very messy. Wouldn't it be nice if you can use pipes to apply multiple methods? on an iterable as shown on the screen that when the library pi comes in handy what is pi pi is a python library that enables you to use pipes in python a pipe passes the results of one method to another method i like pipe because it makes my code looks cleaner when applying multiple methods to a python iterable since pipe only provides a few methods it is also very easy to learn pipe in this video I'm gonna show you some methods I found the most useful from the library. To install pipe, type pip install pipe. The first method I want to introduce is where. Similar to SQL, pipe's where method can be used to filter elements in an iterable. For example, to get an even number from this iterator, I use where. Where will extract the elements from the iterable for which the function inside where returns true. For example, 1 modulus 2 is equal to 1, which is different from 0. So this function will return false and 1 will not be added to the final result. Since 2 modulus 2 is equal to 0, the function returns true and 2 is added to the final result. Since 3 modulus 2 is equal to 1, which is different from 0, we don't add 3 to the final result, and so on. The next function I want to introduce is select. The select method is similar to the map method. Select applies a method to each element of an editable. In this code, I use select to multiply each element in the list by 2. Now you might wonder, why do I need the methods where and select if they have the same functionalities as math and filter? It is because Pi makes it easier for you to code your Python logic. For example, to get a multiplication of even numbers, I can start with using where to get even numbers. Then I can add another line to add more method to the output of where. Specifically, I want to multiply each element in the list of even numbers by 2. We can see that the code no longer has nested parentheses, which makes it more readable. That's it about where and select. In the next video, you're going to learn how to use pipe to unfold nested iterables.